Welcome back to Medford Pottery's Great Throwdown Challenge. So this is our finishing off our main make, uh, our breakfast set. All the pieces have been bisked. We now will have three hours to glaze them. Uh, we'll get you down so you can see the finished gla uh, finished bisque pieces. Like so. So there we go. So we've got toast rack cups. Uh, only one issue with it. That saucer has got a tiny crack in it. Right in that edge. Hopefully the glaze will take care of that. And as you can see, we have our cafetiere slightly too big in the diameter. Hopefully when it's glaze fired it'll shrink another little bit again. But all the handles are on. Uh, toast rack. There's a tiny hairline crack on that joint there. Hopefully the glaze will take care of that. And in this video we'll have a bit of music while we do it and we'll get our timer set. So we have the same time as on the show. So we've got three hours so, three hours starting from now. So, plan is, it's sort of an art deco yellow, sort of sunburst stripes. Going to be on the sauces, the cups and the bodies and that. Then we're going to wax all the bases and then we'll fire them and then we'll show you the results so I'll talk to you at the end but let us commence resist all done. Now we're going to start decorating. I suppose we'll start with a plate first. Actually we'll start with the first cup because the wax will be dry. Okay so first prep done. So they're all masked off like so and all the bottoms are waxed. So we're ready for a bit of decoration. So we'll catch up in a little while when we've done some decoration. to use some under glaze decoration so using yellow under glaze so we're going to paint this on so it's like art deco triangles <coughs> well, that's the plan anyway so back in a few when we've done a bit of painting See you in a second. Okay, so we have got one twenty-three to go in this challenge. Uh, 
and we have they're all painted just waiting for them to dry now we'll take the mask and tape off and then they're going to get a clear a clear glaze and then that's them done and ready to fire so we'll let these dry off for a few minutes and we will catch up on our video when we've took the mask and tape off and then uh, we'll adjourn to the the studio and we'll do our clear glaze so we'll see you in a few minutes okay i've let these dry so we're down to an hour remaining So we're going to take some of this mask and tape off now and see if it's worked. Well, so far so good. The first one looks okay. I'll give you a close up in a second when we get this. <laughs> so let's give us the desired effect. Got a little sunshine type pattern on there. Uh, now for the rest of them. So I'll do this one here. Seems to be working okay. Cup. And last one. Big jug. So that's them all done. We've got 48 minutes left, so we're going to reset uh, in the studio and we'll add a clear glaze, and then that's it done. So, seeing a few when we we'll reset. Right, welcome back. So, we'll resume our timer. We've got 47 minutes to complete this task. So, we have our clear glaze. We need our tongs. And we have all our pieces ready to go so they're all ready to dip uh, they are waxed and ready uh, I do need some water in a bowl to clean any excess off like so right so glaze is mixed Ready to go. So we'll do these little fellas first. Just let them dry so we don't get any drips. Be very gentle with these because they're quite thin. And I don't want to smash them. One done. We can tidy them up when they're fully done. Tip the bucket up. One, two, three, four, five. Let them dry. 
dry. Well, they're nearly the same height then, cups. <coughs> hey! So the lid, um, to allow us to get this in the shelf, the way I've done it is, just on that inside, I've waxed the inside base. So I'm put a little stand, and we'll stand it up on there so it doesn't sort and glaze right up to the edge, you see. That's the plan anyway. So we'll get our lid in there. Dip it in. So what I'll do, I'll stand that. Like so. Now we've got our big cafetiere. Now I'm going to try and do it. Dip it in like that. Let it dry and then dip the handle. We should have enough. We've got enough depth. We'll find out in a minute. Then we've got our toe strap, this fella, now, how to dip this, I think I might just hold it by them two. So that's dried off, so we'll do, dip the handle. That's that all dipped. Now where we had hold of the toast rack, got a few bits to dip there, so what we do, I just knock the thick off, like that. Dry it 
Prime hands. Just so they're all covered. So that's it. I'll get the camera. Show you what's been going on. So clear glaze. So we've got our lid done. Cups, saucers, toast rack and the cafetier. <coughs> so they're ready to fire. So that's it. So that's uh, first main make done. Fingers crossed uh, it's all down to the kiln gods now. So. Uh, we'll not do another video, we'll do an update uh, in a few seconds actually in the end of this video so you'll see all the fired pieces etc so see you after the kiln's fired see you in a bit so welcome back uh, this will be a quick kiln opening it's basically our breakfast set. Cafetiere first. So there's the cafetiere. Now the thing is, has it shrunk enough? Because it had shrunk a wee bit, but not a lot. So we it shrunk a little bit more. Not, it's not drum tight, but it's better. That's not too bad. So we'll fit that up in a minute. So there's the the main bit. Get this shelf out of the way. So the lid for our cafetiere. Well, it fits. come out okay. Toast rack. There's our toast rack. Not too bad. Yellow's not as vivid as I was hoping. And our sauces. Have our sauces survived? Yeah, just it's got a little crack in it. So one of them's just got a a little crack. Just there, which is a shame. I thought the glaze might have covered it, but it hasn't. And a little coffee cup to go on it. And our other cup and saucer. So, to finish this challenge, we'll have a close-up of our breakfast set with attached cafetiere Could have possibly gone a little bit taller with that, I think. But there we go. Put that at the back. It's a decent, and it's very bright. Just what you need in the morning. So that's our first main make done. So, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. A uh, bit of a bit of a marathon video compilation it is but thanks anyway and we'll see you in the next challenge which is the chess set so like subscribe comment below all the youtube stuff and i'll catch us in one of the next videos bye <laughs>